I just wanted to do a quick little life update for all of you because as you know from the title I'm going through sort of a life change right now um, as most of you know I am sort of stuck in Georgia for the next nine months due to work and it is almost August and it is the hottest time of the year and I live in a van with my dog <laughs> and there are some instances where you know I have to leave the van to go places and Millie just can't go with me sometimes she's a dog she can't go into most restaurants or in many other buildings so I have to leave her in the van and I've been curious you know I wanted to be a responsible dog owner and make sure that she is in a comfortable temperature whenever I leave her in the van so I got this new pet monitor from Waggle which is actually really freaking awesome. It monitors the ambient temperature in your van. It monitors the humidity and the heat index within your van. And you can see all of that on an app on your phone. You can see the temperature and everything, which is super cool. And if it were to ever get too hot in your van for your dog or animal, it sends you a text message and alerts you, which is super awesome. So I've been using this thing for the past few days. And this has been the reason why I've sort of made the decision that I have. Um, it's been sending me alerts after alerts after alerts that it's just too hot in my van right now for Millie and for me really I mean it's gonna be upper 90s here and if you know anything about Georgia the humidity makes upper 90s feel like 115 degrees and if you're stuck in the van it's, uh, you're, you're gonna die <laughs> it's just too hot but real quick before I go on I just want to say that if you live in a van with a dog or any sort of pet, uh, I highly recommend this Waggle Pet Monitor. It's saving my life and Millie's life right now. Um, and you can get 40% off checkout with my code VANLIFE40 if you click the link down in the description. Not only does it tell you the temperature inside of your van, it sends you alerts when it gets too hot or too cold, but it also has a GPS in it. So if anyone were to ever steal your van, you can track it down with this thing. And that, that's super freaking awesome. And it works off of cellular data, so you don't need Wi-Fi. So highly recommend this thing. It's really saving Millie, me and Millie's life right now. So, <laughs> so yeah, I, uh, after realizing how hot it's actually been getting in the van for us, I've been having a difficult time coping with the idea that maybe I need to take a break from living in a van. If I'm stuck here in Georgia and I can't physically escape the heat, I need to get a place temporarily. I'm not ready to leave this lifestyle completely, I, I still love living in a van, it's just right now in Georgia, it's not very fun. It's quite miserable. I can't stay in the van for long periods of time. I have to be outside, and even when I'm outside, I'm drenched in sweat. Millie's constantly hot, I feel like she can't cool off. I, I have to spray her down all the time to cool her off, and even then she's still panting like crazy. I just, I feel bad for her. And honestly, getting a place temporarily doesn't really sound that bad because in general I think I could just use a break from this ever since I got back to Georgia I've fallen into sort of like a depressive state um, and I've acquired a lot of bad habits because I'm sad about being here like I don't want to be here I don't want to be in hot Georgia I don't want to be stuck in one place for a long period of time I mean that's not the point of van life when you live in a van you want to be able to take it wherever to, to explore the world and I'm not doing that right now so living in a van is honestly pretty miserable especially when it's 97 degrees in the Georgia heat I have decided to temporarily take a break from van life um, I've got a friend here who's gonna let me rent out a room in his house hopefully that works out um, so I think I'm gonna do that for a month and then once that's over, I'm going to move back in the van and we're going to go back to adventuring and feeling good again. I just, I honestly just need a good reset on my life because right now I feel very trapped. I feel very cooped up and I feel like I can't get out. I can't, I can't get away from this heat. I can't get out of this depressive state. I just can't be productive right now because I'm so uncomfortable. I love this van. I really do. I love living in a van, but being stuck in one place for an extended period of time is not the essence of van life. That's not what it is. Since I am doing this, 
This doesn't mean that I'm not going to be in the van anymore. I'm still going to take the van out for adventures every weekend or so. I'm still going to make YouTube videos during this month. Um, I think I'm more so just seeing this next month of living in a house as a retreat of some sort. I want to make it as productive as possible. I'm not going to go sit in this house and just bum out. I want to reset my life a little bit. My goal is to get back on a workout routine, start eating healthier again, build up routines that I've been missing in my life, um, rekindle some relationships with friends that I've sort of pushed away as I've been living in my van. And it's really just time to myself to reflect on what's next in my life. And I think this next month of living in this house is gonna be very therapeutic for me. And I'm really excited about it. And I think it's gonna be really refreshing for me. It's gonna be refreshing for Millie. It's gonna be a good reset. So, that's it guys. I'm taking a break from van life. Temporarily, for a month. But the van will still be there in the driveway. I'll still be taking it out on little weekend road trips during that month. I'll still be adventuring and I'll still be myself. I'm just uh, trying something new, you know? And that's the reality of this life. It's not as glamorous as Instagram makes it seem. Sometimes it's really, really difficult to live in a van. And my van is so cozy and so luxurious, but right now I just don't want to live in the van and I need that break. So I'm gonna give me myself that break and I'm gonna give Millie that break because she needs it too. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. I know this is some hard hitting news for some people, but just know that this is temporary. I'm not leaving van life full time. I'm coming back after a month. But thanks for watching guys. We're gonna try and find a lake or something to go swim in because we are drenched in sweat. Well, I am, she's just panting like a dog. Guess what, she is a dog. <laughs> All right, Millie, let's go to a lake.